You can teach your dog just about any trick imaginable using the method of shaping. Today I'm going to teach you about what shaping is and how you can use it to teach your dog to do a silly circus trick like this one, standing on or inside a box. My name is Cal McCann and this is my five month old Border Collie puppy Beeline. Uh, welcome to McCann Dogs. Now you may be wondering why I'm holding her collar. Well, just before we turn the camera on, I could literally not get her out of the box because she's had so many rewards. She thinks this is the most fun thing ever. So hopefully she can be patient enough that I can explain this trick to you. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you do have a box that's well sized to your dog. She can easily fit inside this because she's pretty small. If you have a bigger dog, I would suggest you get something bigger that your dog can easily get inside of. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release her in a second to offer a behavior. Um, anything that she does in relation relationship to this box I'm going to yes and reward her for. Now I'm going to use a clicker today but if you just want to use the word yes that certainly works as well. So I'm going to get a couple cookies ready here and I'm just going to let go and see what she does. Okay. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Yes. I'm just going to wait until she gets all four feet inside the box. Good girl. And I'm going to throw a cookie away. Okay. Here it is. Good. And then I'm going to see if she offers again. Yes. So two feet in. Yes. Good girl. Three feet in, yes, good girl. Okay, get it. And I'm gonna encourage her to get out of the box with a treat on the floor there. I'm gonna try it one more time. Yes, good girl. Yes. Yes, good girl. And you can just repeat this process as many times as you can until the dog really starts to get the hang of it. Yes, good girl, B. Very nice. The other version of this that you can try is flipping your box upside down and teaching your dog to actually get up on top of it as if it's a pedestal. Now, um, I'm just bracing it with my feet here because what I don't want to happen is have her have the confidence to get up on the box and then have it topple over and scare her. So I just sort of have it braced between my legs to keep it secure. And again, I'm gonna let her go and anything that she does with the box, I'm gonna yes and reward her for, okay? Yes. Yes, good girl. Yes, good. Okay, get it. Try again. Yes. So I'm not luring her on the box. She's thinking of the idea of getting on the box herself. And that's the idea of shaping. So there's no consequence. There's some no negative. I'm just reinforcing her. Good girl. Um, when she does something that I like. Okay. Good girl. Yes. And I'm just using my timing to make sure that I'm clicking at the appropriate moment. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Good now, once your puppy gets the hang of getting inside the box that's a bit bigger, you can start to make this trick more advanced by using something smaller. Now, this is something that I did a lot with her as a puppy. I haven't done as much recently, so I'm actually hopeful that it's going to be a good demonstration because she's not going to ace it quite so quickly. I'm going to actually start with it upside down so she has to get on top of it. That's the easier version of the two. So I'm going to start off by having her get thinking about getting her four feet in a small space so when I do go to flip it over, it's a lot easier for her to be successful. So again, I'm going to start with the box upside down and I'm going to brace it so that it can't topple over when she tries to get on top of it. Okay, B. Good girl. So she has to balance a lot more to stay on top of this. Yes. So if her feet come down, I just ignore that. See what else? Yes. See what else she'll try on it. She might even offer a sit or a down. Yes, good girl. And for the sit, you'll notice I'm feeding with my hand high. Okay. Yes, good girl. Very nice. Good girl. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to see if she can get all four feet inside this box. Now, I do this because it's a great for her coordination. It teaches her how to have really great body awareness, especially for some of the agility training that I do. Um, but honestly, it's really great for your dog's mind. One of the best ways to tire your dog out is by doing it mentally. So playing fun little games like this is a great way to keep your dog tired out and uh, also obviously a very fun party trick. So I'm going to see if she'll, yes, good. Start by getting a couple paws in here. And I'm going to reward her a little bit more on this one because this is a lot more challenging. Yes, good girl. Excellent. So I jackpot, my, ro jackpot reward my dogs when they do a good job. Yes, good girl. Good. Okay, get it. Yes, good. Good girl. Yes, excellent. Good girl. Okay, one more time. Get it. Oh, you're so smart, B. Good girl. Yes. 
And obviously the last step would be starting to put it on a command of your choice. Good. Now this trick is relatively new for Beeline, so I haven't yet progressed to the point where I've put this on a command. Now if any of you have any ideas for a cute word that I can use as a command for this trick, I would love to hear it. So maybe you could post some suggestions in the comment section below. Now if you like today's trick, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more about trick training or dog training information in general, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, for now, my name is Kale, this is Cutie Beauty Beeline, and uh, happy training, we'll see you soon.